Yesterday, my office filed 101 criminal charges and one misdemeanor charge against Boyd and Stephanie Householder, who are the former owners and operators of the now defunct Circle of Hope Girls Ranch and Boarding School, once located in Humansville, Missouri. Boyd Householder was charged with 80 offenses, and Stephanie Householder was charged with 22. They are currently in the custody of the Vernon County Jail and will be arraigned later this afternoon. With 16 victims so far, we believe this to be one of the most widespread cases of sexual, physical, and mental abuse patterns against young girls and women in Missouri history. Again, Boyd, host, Boyd Householder has been charged in Cedar County with 80 felony charges. This includes six counts of second degree statutory rape, seven counts of second degree statutory sodomy, six counts of sexual contact with a student, one count of second degree child molestation, 56 counts of abuse and neglect of a child, and two counts of endangering the welfare of a child. For the 22 charges we filed against Stephanie Householder, those include 10 Class D felonies for the abuse and neglect of a child, punishable of up to seven years per count, and 12 Class E felonies for endangering the welfare of a child, punishable up to four years per count. As the father of two young girls, it is simply unthinkable to me that this type of behavior and abuse can be perpetrated against those who are so vulnerable, as well as on the families of the victims who entrusted their loved ones with the Circle of Hope Ranch. Through forensic interviews and statements of victims and extensive documentation seized from the property, we were able to piece together the extent and degree of the abuse that allegedly occurred at Circle of Hope. The allegations we are making include one victim detailed the sexual abuse she received from Boyd Householder, beginning with inappropriate sexual comments, sexual touches, and progressing to oral sex and sexual intercourse. In separate interviews, four victims reported that defendant Boyd Householder taught the girls the, quote, proper way, end quote, to commit suicide, saying they should cut their wrists upward into the vein and not across. There were numerous reports of restraining the girls by means of zip ties and handcuffs, putting the victims on the ground and pushing on their heads and the back of their knees, taping their mouths shut with duct tape or forcing dirty socks in the victims' mouths. On one occasion, and while restrained, a victim said the defendant put a dirty sock in her mouth and sprayed her face with a hose. The water went up her mouth, up her nose, and her mouth, making it difficult to breathe. On another occasion, a victim described getting restrained by defendant Boyd Householder for singing. He pulled the victim's arms behind her back, handcuffed her, pushed her down the stairs, and caused her to land on her face. One victim said that defendant Boyd Householder struck her in the head, grabbed her wrist and the, the back of her head, and shoved her head in horse manure, causing horse manure to get inside of her mouth. Another victim reported an incident in which defendant Boyd Householder punished her for drinking water from a spray bottle by forcing her to drink at least 220 ounces of water and then run a half a mile until she vomited. She then, he then made her drink more water and run another half mile. In addition, punishments by the householders included being required to shovel manure for entire days, being forced to stand with their nose to the wall and hands behind their backs for days and weeks at a time, being locked up for days and weeks without a bed or lights, and being slapped, shoved, or hit with a paddle, belt, or whip. There are no words that I can say here today to describe the mix of great sadness, horror, disgust, and sympathy that I feel about these reports of cruel and almost unbelievable abuse and neglect. We intend to do everything within the power of this office to get justice for the 16 victims we've identified so far and their families 
and to pursue truth and justice vigorously through our courts.